Hi, I'm John Napolitano, the CEO of U.S. Wealth Management and Braintree. You know, today's real estate market is pretty hot, and as a result, many people are considering selling their home. While this might be a good time to do so, consider these important factors before getting swept up in the hysteria of a seller's market. First, answer the question of where are you going to go? It's one thing to get your price, but you may be surprised at what you find when you start searching for a new home. Inventory is tight and banks are still not liberally lending. Before signing the listing contract, be sure you're pretty clear about your next move. Have an attorney review the real estate listing agreement. It may be a moot point if the house sells quickly, and if the house is priced correctly, it probably will. But if it's priced incorrectly, it may sit for longer than the original listing period. And a lot of the standard form contracts that realtors use contain kind of standard language with an automatic renewal provision. I'd get the auto renewal provision stricken and signing a listing agreement for no longer than 90 days. If the home can't get sold in 90 days in today's market, something is wrong and you may need to change firms. Setting a realistic price is just as important as ever. Contrary to the stories that we've all heard about home selling above asking price on day one or at the open house, this only happens when a house is fairly priced. In a rising market, don't get greedy. If you get your full price or more in one day, it would be fair to say that you priced the home properly. I'd also avoid the agent that gives you a dream number. If it sounds too good to be true, uh, you know the rest of that line. And then I'd carefully evaluate any fix up or home repairs that are necessary. Bring these topics into the conversations and discussions with any prospective realtors and evaluate the responses that you receive. And if you feel that pricing your home low is too painful, well, what's more painful, pricing it low or investing a bunch in fix ups and then seeing the dumpster roll up the day of the closing so they can get rid of all the fix up that you just did. Don't rush into the sale. You wanna make sure that your home shows well if the interior furnishings are appealing, the clutter is cleared from the spare rooms, the basement, the shed, the garage, your home's going to show well. And a good showing always fetches the best offers. So select a professional who can be open and blunt about what needs to be done to clear out and stage your home and get started immediately. Don't take it personally. If you can't decide on what to toss, save, donate, well then rent a storage unit and clear out the stuff a little bit sooner than later. As a courtesy, consider alerting your neighbors about the plans to sell. They may give you some valuable insight also, or as was in the case in my neighborhood recently, the home sold privately to a friend with no sales commission.